Hey YouTube, welcome to your 32nd basics of JavaScript video. My name is Mehul, and in this video, let's just take a look at what DOM is in JavaScript. And it's not really DOM is not really a part of JavaScript. DOM is something which the browser control constructs. So what happens is whenever you write an HTML document like this, JavaScript what it does is it constructs a DOM which is a tree like structure to actually represent what your HTML code is, right? So, for example, this is DOM right here. So, you have your HTML tag, then you have head and body inside it, just like this, and then you have inside your body certain tags, inside the head certain tags as well, like title. In, with title, you get a text node, and so on and so forth. So, this whole thing, this whole tree is called a DOM right so what's so special about it well to manipulate this DOM for example let's say you want to edit the title text from my text to hello world let's say so you need to have a certain API exposed to you in order to get to this in order to traverse this tree get to this node and change its text right it's basically a tree is given to you and you need to change the contents of that particular a particular node in that given tree so how would you do that well there are a lot of ways to do it but JavaScript what it does is it exposes a DOM API and not really JavaScript but the browser itself so you can say that 2 plus 2 is 4 right this is a part of JavaScript engine the JavaScript engine knows how to do this, how to compute this thing. But JavaScript engine by itself does not know how to traverse this um, tree and then modify this thing, you know, do whatever. So the browser actually exposes you some APIs, that is, some ways to traverse this particular tree and get to this node, and then, you know, do it, do manipulations with it. So, for example, if you if you consider node.js which is javascript running on the server you would not get these apis on that part because node does not implement dom structure at the back end right because it does not need it on the browser javascript comes as a separate thing and browser adds functionalities to that particular javascript engine which allows you to traverse the dom tree as well so to summarize, DOM tree is nothing but a tree of elements, right, which is exposed to JavaScript via certain browser APIs, like document, like window, and so on and so forth, which we're going to discuss later on, right? And uh, I think, yeah, that's a basic overview of what DOM is. And from the next video onwards, we're going to see some stuff related to it.